Good morning, fuckers. Back on the trail, man. Shit. Well, back here at the car park. Easy hitch to get back here this morning. I waited like five minutes. It's like 8.40. was going to go to the coffee shop one more time, but they were open when we want to. We closed and we're done working. Kind of a thing. Small town. <laughs> so they weren't open. Figure if I waited till they were, then I'd just get vortex till like noon. So I figure I better go. It's got cheap coffee at the gas station, which is fine. But nice day in Ulapool. Good fish and chips. Good wood fire pizza uh, food truck. That was amazing. And like yesterday, I just chilled at the coffee shop and looked at photos and video and shit. And it was just a nice, relaxing day. But here we are, the last stretch on this trail. About 95 miles put me at Cape Wrath. Doing about five days or so. Um, today's probably going to be the best weather day. As you can see, it's nice and beautiful, overcast, nice and cool. Um, but 90% chance of rain tomorrow and then 50% from here on out. So we'll get, really get rained on, obviously, especially at elevation probably. But whatever, let's deal with it. Hopefully we stay dry today. As far as the plan for mileage goes, looking at the map, there's a Bothy in about 17 from here, Schoolhouse Bothy. I think I'll just stay there tonight and go from there. Um, I have a ride lined up back from the Cape, but that's not till, well, today is, I can't remember. I'm, the, what I'm trying to say is I might have to kill a day there before I can get a ride back. They do a bus back, but my budget's so tight, I don't want to deal with that. So the guy who gave me a hitch says there's a Bothy like three miles from the lighthouse. I might just have to stay there for a day. So I can get back uh, back to civilization, which is fine. So got like five days of food on me. We'll be hitting one small town before I finish. So if I need to do a quick top up on my resupply, I can do that. And uh, that's about it. All right. Well, let's get walking here. I think we got a fairly easy walk today and roads and whatnot. And then it'll get more rugged uh, from starting tomorrow, I guess. So let's get on down this trail. It's going to be a great, great, great fucking day. Well, nothing says lunchtime like a bunch of old ruins. Uh, people picked a nice location. <laughs> it's surrounded by mountains. Pretty insane. There's some uh, stags running over there in the distance. And you got a nice little creek running right here. So um, I'm going to take advantage of this and uh, got a nice backrest here. And we'll have a nice long hour lunch, man.
knock knock. Let's go. All right, nice little bothy there. Um, I figured I'd pop my head in. That's not the one I'm staying at. It was just at the end of this lock. I walked uh, the length up. Uh, there's another dude in there from Germany. Um, he's just going to Willapool. I think he started at the at the lighthouse, so he's just doing a short trip. But nice dude. Um, so we'll push another four and a half miles or so. It's like 3:30. Uh, put me at the schoolhouse bothy, and I can uh, take a load off and relax and be dry for a change. It's been awesome fucking weather today, man. call that a night. I think I got this place to myself. It's like 6 30 and nobody showed up. So I got this whole whole bothy to myself. I'll take it mom. Today was a great day. Today was the first day in a long time since the, the sun shined all afternoon. And it's just amazing how much that changes your mental state when it's, when it's sunny and it's not winds blowing and you're getting pissed on all day. Just it ruins you mentally <laughs> for sure even though the scenery is amazing. So Today was awesome. I had great scenery as well as the sunshine. Um, that bog walk in the middle of the day was kind of rough up until lunch and then like a couple miles after that, but then you get back on the dirt road and it was easy walking. So uh, 17 and a half or so today. We'll just kind of do 17, 18 a day. Try to listen to my body and uh, we'll be in Cape Breath before you know it. We'll holler at you fuckers in the morning, man.